Hey, it's the Brownstone Boys, and we are here in the beautiful historic district of Prospect Lefferts Gardens. It's a small neighborhood right by Crown Heights, Brooklyn, and it's known for its row houses, barrel front homes, and lots of storefronts. And speaking of storefronts, we are taking you inside our latest renovation project, New Life on Nostrand. This is a generational home. Sisters Eileen and June were in desperate need of a renovation. Their family grew up on the second and third floors, and that first floor was a rotating storefront. It was a laundromat. It was a grocery store. It was a donut shop. <laughs> there was a lot of structural issues. The, the floor was really kind of caving in. And I think a lot of people would have told them that they should probably sell it and buy something else. But it just meant so much to them. And they wanted to restore it so that they could pass it on to the next generation. Let's check out New Life on Nostra. streets in Brooklyn, Dostrand Avenue, as you can hear. Welcome inside. Can you believe that this place used to be a storefront, a donut shop, a laundromat, so many things over the years? And now what we have, it's a three-story house. And what we did was created a duplex on the first two floors. And then there's a separate apartment where Eileen's sister lives on the top floor. Yeah. So now it's a two-family house. One of my favorite pieces in this new reconfiguration is this open kitchen. The large window is truly the centerpiece of the home. We did extend this window. It used to be two windows, two small windows, and now it's one big one. Yeah, and we kind of framed it out with this beautiful uh, wood, kind of a natural tone to incorporate with some of the modern finishes. So one of the first things that you see when you look at this kitchen is this really beautiful backsplash tile. It is Kent Jade from Tile Bar, and it goes around the entire kitchen all the way over to the corner and it just really sets the mood for the space we also have some shelves that still have to go up some white oak shelves yeah and i think that's just going to tie in everything really nicely including the frame of the window here we're, and we're just going to put these shelves right in this little corner here so she has some additional storage the quartz in this home is one of my favorites you know we love our quartz products and uh, we worked again with onstone quartz this is the calcutta gold it's kind of in that more neutral tone so it blends in nicely with the wood of the cabinets and also with this Kent Jade tile. These are Ikea cabinets with semi-handmade fronts and this is just semi-handmade white shaker fronts. Semi-handmade is definitely an upgrade to Ikea fronts. We love that they have a soft close to them. They just have some elevated designs that yeah. Ikea has as well. But we do have one custom piece in this kitchen and it is this pull-out pantry. This is it's just such a, a great way to have really convenient storage. It is only a, a 12 inch space and I feel like it is a full pantry. Eileen wanted this huge refrigerator, this LG, which <laughs> I'm a little jealous of it, of all the space here. But as you can tell here, the doors are very thick. So we had to kind of reconfigure this area over here. And I think this custom cabinet was just the perfect solution for it. We do have a farm style sink over here, which is really nice. And it's also a utility sink. So she can do some cutting, some chopping, washing, and then also have a lot of room here to wash her vegetables. Of course, we love our dish drawer from Fisher Peichel. I just love that it has the two cabinet feature so you can leave one set of plates to kind of dry if you need to kind of just let it hang out in the drawer you can do that while the other one does the uh, washing cycle and then finally the range this is a blue star range 36 inch six burner lots of space in this oven this kitchen is definitely ready for like some serious cooking the one thing that this kitchen is missing and you might be wondering is where the kitchen island is oh yeah and don't worry we have a beautiful large kitchen island that's going to be in this square shape over here you can see the pendant set up for it and it's it's gonna be more of a piece of furniture yeah. in the space. So while we're still here on the first floor, let's show you the rest of the space. If you follow me, we have the primary bathroom over here on the right-hand side. We have a very large, whoa, this toilet just scared me. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Toto toilet. It is an automatic, so it recognizes people walking by. It will open the seat for you. It will have the seat warmed. It's a little scary sometimes. A little scary, but I'm also <laughs> very jealous of it. We have a single vanity for Eileen here to use with a very large mirror. And then we have a beautiful walk-in shower that we're gonna be getting 
getting the shower glass for this week. And I just really love the Stacy Garcia tile from Tile Bar. I think the green in here is the perfect color. I just love the stacked horizontal on this placement. So come check out this laundry room. It's still a work in progress. We're not quite finished it yet. We have our laundry machines here. We have plenty of storage. We'll have to put these cabinet fronts on. There's a utility sink here as well. It's just a dream of a laundry room. And I think they're gonna get a lot of use out of this. So last but not least, we are on the primary floor still, and this is Eileen's bedroom. We have huge double closets here, lots of storage space. And then we also did a custom upper here as well, so she can hide all those things that she doesn't need on an everyday basis. All right, guys, so we have a brand new staircase. Now we officially have a duplex. So one of the biggest transformations in this house is this staircase. There was a, a main staircase out in the hallway that went to all the apartments, but we created a duplex out of the first two floors. So this entire staircase is new. The hole was cut through the floor here to create it. And we work with LJ Smith stairs where the, the banister and the balusters came from. And again, of course, we painted it a matte black and this is the tricorn black from Sherman Williams. So here we are in the guest bedroom, and we're imagining that Eileen and family will use this as the family room when she has her sisters, her brothers over. They'll probably go ahead and uh, reside in here. But the thing that we want to talk a bit about why we're in here with the beautiful front-facing windows is the hardwood floors that we selected for this house. This is a six-inch white oak unfinished wood. The color variation is just stunning, and we finished it off with a Bona HD matte high traffic finish. I think it just really blends in beautifully with the wood casing of the windows as well. So still inside the guest bedroom here, but we have a huge walk-in closet. And we also have a little area over here that could be its own little bedroom, or I believe Eileen is gonna be using it for her gym. So these doors all lead to the center hallway that we're still very much working on. This staircase leads you up to June's floor over here. That is the two bedroom, one bathroom. So she's been living here for a while, so we're not gonna go up there as we wanna respect her space, but we just kind of wanted to give you the lay of the land and let you guys know how the flow of the space works. This bathroom is very similar to the one downstairs. It's got a stand-up shower. But the thing that's great about this bathroom is we use the same Stacy Garcia from Tile Bar um, tile over here. Same color as it is downstairs. I love this floor tile here, also from Tile Bar, with a beautiful shower niche. We use the extra quartz from the kitchen as this niche. And then each shower has its own little shower bench, which is really nice and kind of luxurious just to sit here, put your hand on the niche. And we are getting the shower glass this week. And I think once we get that installed, this bathroom is perfection. Okay, so believe it or not, there is another laundry room in this unit. There's two laundry rooms, that's crazy. So we have a stackable unit here. It's pulled out right now because we're waiting for the inspection, but there is a sink in here with a little counter and some storage as well. So laundry options, what can we say? And then let's check out this other bedroom that's here. So this is gonna be Eileen's office. So this is gonna be nice and quiet in the back of the house, nice light coming in through the back windows here. And a couple of things to note is for the window casings in this house, we just did this really simple casement finish. It's really beautiful, it's modern, it's this natural tone wood. There's a lot of white walls in here, so it really warms up the space. We do have a steam radiator system throughout, so these are new radiators. The ones that were here before were massive, oversized radiators, Gosh, and now we put the these- The biggest radiators I've ever seen. In my they life. were enormous. Yes. And then for cooling, it used to just be window units all over this house. You know, the lots of rooms didn't even have air conditioning. And so we actually put in a mini split system all throughout the home. So going back to the family story of this house, and I'm gonna try not to tear up when I tell you this story, but we're on the second floor here, and when Barry and I met Eileen in June, there was a deeper issue that really was difficult for Eileen to talk to us a bit about. But the second floor was not only where her family grew up, but when her parents passed, this was their floor. In the Chinese tradition, they put a shrine up for any family member that passes. And something that we did that I think is very special is we took the original shrine um, that Eileen had up on this floor and it's buried inside these walls here. <music> 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of this home. Thank you so much to Eileen and June for letting us be a part of this renovation journey. It was so much fun hearing all your stories about growing up here and how, how much this house meant to your family. Yeah, we're so thankful to be part of it and we hope this home lasts you another, let's say 100 years in this house and can be passed on to the next generation. We got to continue the hallway work and get out of your hairs, but thank you so much. And we hope you enjoyed this house tour. If you did, do us a huge favor, subscribe to our channel below, and we hope to see you on the next house tour. Bye everyone.